the last thing that I want to make sure we touch on is dead weight loss for Monopoly. And I'll put the graphs up here one more time for you. I feel like we're beating a dead horse at this point, but there is purpose. Price cost again. We'll put in our happy zero just for fun. We want output on the bottom. Right? Average total cost. Marginal cost. Now, you could just draw this as a straight line. I've seen it done different ways in different books, but just remember that it needs to be upward sloping is the part that we're worried about right here. Marginal cost. And that's enough. All right. Now we're going to put in our demand curve and our marginal cost curve, or marginal revenue rather, sorry. Demand and marginal revenue determine our quantity, marginal cost equals marginal revenue, gives us our Q, when we come up to demand, that gives us our price. Now we drop down to where this hits our cost curve, that gives us our profit. Where's our dead weight loss? Our dead weight loss is this triangle from this level of quantity up to that intersection. So all this right here, dead weight loss. Now what does that mean? If we were productively efficient, we would be at the minimum of our ATC curve. We're not, because we're producing at a level that's too low. If we were allocatively efficient, we would be at least at this level. And we're not. So we are neither productively nor allocatively efficient in a monopoly. So we are losing Again, quantity's too low, price is too high, that's the problem. Something else to remember is that all of these profits that are going to the monopoly because the price is too high basically mean that we are taking the consumer surplus and transferring it to the producer because we have moved that price line from where it should be. Consumer surplus now belongs to the monopolist, so that's gone because of the price being too high. So if we're looking at the efficiency loss, that's what we want to look at, is this area here. If we're looking at where the money is actually going, it's being transferred from what the consumer could gain by having the price lower than they're willing to charge, or rather lower than what they're willing to pay, instead jacking that up. You're still dealing with the same area that we looked at before in terms of producer versus consumer surplus. It's just that the money has now changed hands, which most consumers don't really appreciate. But again, not every monopoly is, you know, the big bad wolf. Um, that, that title really belongs to OPEC if you're talking about world markets. OPEC, bad. But, you know, we already did the cartels. <laughs>